In this video, I will demonstrate how you can run uh, Visual Studio and uh, SQL Server uh, 2012 on a Macintosh computer uh, using a virtualization technology. So the software that will enable you to uh, do this um, is called Parallel for Desktop. And you can um, grab a, uh, an evaluation version of it at parallels.com slash products slash desktop. So go ahead and download and install this software. Once you install it, you will then be able to run not just Windows, but um, in my case, I also have uh, one to uh, Linux running on the same uh, Macintosh computer as a virtual machine. And this will give me the ability to run any application um, that I have um, on the Macintosh computer. Now, a couple of things to note here. Uh, one of the th uh, reasons I prefer Parallels for Desktop um, over um, other virtualization softwares such as VMware um, is that um, it actually has um, um, a couple of different things. The first one being any files that you save in your Documents folder in the window Windows instance can also be uh, viewed um, in the same uh, documents folder in the Mac. So essentially it routes, it wires Windows to use your Mac's documents folder, um, which you can see here. So if you look here under Finder in the Mac, I have the same exact files and folders what I have here in um, my Windows instance. So that's one thing. So the other thing is, once you install Visual Studio, and I assume that you know how to install Visual Studio um, by just simply downloading it and, and, and installing it from uh, Microsoft's uh, website, uh, you can then run something called the Coherence Mode by going to the Parallels menu under View, Enter Coherence. And if you do that, you will then be able to see the Visual Studio as if it's a Macintosh software. So it fills your whole screen. Uh, you can pretty much do anything that uh, you would normally do um, with uh, Visual Studio uh, from your Mac. Notice that I can pretty much resize uh, the software as if it's a native application. And I even have uh, a set of options here, uh, file menu options for Visual Studio, so such as new, open, uh, and whatnot. So um, that's I think that's a pretty big benefit of the software. Um, and I also have, if I go under launch pad, launch pad um, I also have um, all my Windows uh, applications as shortcuts here, which I can then launch by just clicking on it. Um, the same way I can launch all my Mac um, uh, applications. Um, so if anything that I have on my Windows instance, I can now access on the uh, Mac as well, including um, Microsoft SQL Server. So uh, SQL management, uh, if I want to uh, query a database, I can go here and uh, query a database or create a database. So. Um, I highly recommend this software and uh, you know let me show you if you need to debug you can just simply uh, run it and it essentially runs as a standalone application right here in coherence mode so um, you can debug and write code the way you would normally debug in code so that's all I wanted to uh, cover. Um, feel free to leave me comments or questions you may have and um, subscribe. Thanks for watching.